this short video will work through example 2. Example 2 is quite similar compared to example 1, however, two changes have been made. The first change is that the water level on the front side is now lower to a level minus 3.0 that will cause a water flow from the back side towards the front side. Further, the variable surface load on the back side is moved a bit and is now acting in a distance of 1.5 meters away from the sheet power wall. That means that the surface load will not affect the wall until level minus 1.0, which is the same level as the anchor and the water table on the back side. All other parameters are the same as for example 1. The exercise is still to determine the necessary length, maximum moment and anchor force in the sheet pile wall in a long term state under the assumption that the wall will fail with one yield hit. And Spooks is now open to try to do this example in Spooks. Due to the many similarities between example 1 and example 2, it is possible to reuse the already entered values in example 1. So go to Spooks and press File and open example 1 the previous example. The task is now to change what needs to be changed according to the changes in the example. The project data. We could go in and change that it would be example uh, project number one and example two. All the rest will keep as the same. The calculation method is not changed, this is still a failure mechanism with one yield hint. The anchor is still placed in level minus 1.0. The water levels is changed, so if we double click on the water levels on the front side we need to lower the water level to minus 3.0 according to the example. The set T value for the upper level of the wall is unchanged. We need to widen this a bit to see the rest. The loads, if we check the loads, the magnitude of the load is still 22.5 kilonewtons per square meter on the back side. However, the set R value is different because the load is now acting in a distance of 1.5 meters from the top of the wall. So this set R value should be changed to minus 1.0. The partial coefficient should be kept the same. Then the task is now to change the substrata. Um, due to the flow from the back side towards the front, front side, there will be a gradient, and this gradient needs to be calculated. This is done according to Bent Hansen's theory. A spreadsheet is made which calculates the gradients on the front side and the back side, respectively. According to the sketch, H1 is the distance from the toe level to the water level on the back side, H2 is the distance from the toe level to the ground surface on the front side, and HW is the difference between the water levels on the front and back side respectively. If we enter the toe level which is calculated according to example 1, the spreadsheet calculates the gradient on the back side and on the front side respectively. So let's double click on the stratification and change the gradient on the back side to 1.0.13 and on the front side we need to change it to 0 0.25. Note that the sign convention is that a downwards flow here is positive so there should be a positive gradient on the back side, while the gradient should be negative on the front side, so we add a minus here to complete the filling. 
So press OK and then recalculate the project. The results now show that the driving depth is longer compared to the previous calculation and the gradient is then changed. So in the spreadsheet we enter the new toe level of the wall and new gradients are calculated. We go back to the summary and in the stratification we change the gradients on the back side to 0.10 and on the front side to minus 0.16. Press OK and OK again and we calculate the project. Again, we have a change in the toe level and we enter this new toe level in our spreadsheet, minus 9.25, and some new gradients are calculated. So we go back to the summary and we change the gradient once again. The gradient on the front on the back side is not changed. The gradient on the front side is changed just a little bit. So we press OK and recalculate the project once again. Again we obtain a slightly different toe level. So we change the toe level in our spreadsheet. However, the results are a slight change in our gradients, but Spoops can only calculate with two digits and therefore the iteration with the gradients has finished now and the final results for the sheet pile wall is obtained. So the results that we see now here on the graphic results are the final results for example 2. So the anchor force and the maximum moment and the found driving depth now is what needed for this sheet pile wall with a water flow.